let's just try and see if we can help each other to understand how do you find the average gradient between two points the concept of average gradient is not something new it's what you've been doing uh, since grade 9 we all know that the average gradient is given by um, y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 now for you to be able to work out the gradient between two points you obviously need the coordinates of both those points now look at this question where we are required to find the average gradient on f of x equals to x squared between x equals 2 and x equals 5. now the graph of f of x is the one that i have here it's um, currently passing through 2 and it's also passing through x equals to 5. You will notice that when we tell you this, you are missing the corresponding y values because for you to be able to work out the gradient, you're going to say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you do have the axis, but you don't have the corresponding y values. So what you will need to do first is to work out what is the corresponding y value when x is 2. And in order to do that, we're just simply going to take that 2 and then you're substituting it into the equation of f of x it will give you the corresponding y value. You do the same thing for 5. You substitute into the equation of f of x. It will give you the corresponding value of y. And then you can be able to work out whatever your gradient is going to be. So if I uh, set uh, on roots to work that out, I'll just say, um, first of all, if you want to know what y is, I'm going to say if f of x was given to us as x squared, then f of um, 2. f of 2 will be 2 squared which is going to give us a value of 4 that simply means when x is 2 the corresponding y value is going to be 4 similarly for 5 i'll also ask what is f of 5 f of 5 means wherever you see x you must now replace it with 5 so since our function is x squared it means i'll simply have 5 squared which is going to give us an answer of 25 so once more when x is 5 the corresponding y value is just going to be 25 now I've got both these points complete. I can then work out the average gradient between uh, those two x values. So I'm going to go and say the average gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But since the way I found my y2 was by substituting an x value in that equation, I'm just simply going to do the same thing. So I'm going to say um, f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is just to say in order to get y2 we are going to substitute the x2 in the equation and then in order to get y1 you're going to substitute that whatever that x value is in the equation to get the answer of this this is very important it's actually helping us to set ourselves ready for whatever's going to happen now my f of x2 is actually 25 minus my f of x1 is 4 divided by um, 5 minus uh, 2 and then if you simplify that's 25 minus 1 is actually 21 over um, 3 and the answer to this is just going to become 7.